Welcome to Northern Pain Centre's 12 Pillars of Wellbeing for Managing Chronic Pain. These have been reimagined for 2021 to help you tackle some frequently raised issues and concerns using at-home research-based strategies. January 2021 has been dedicated to having a plan. Why did we pick planning? Because often when it comes to living and managing chronic pain, your once full world centres around pain. Appointments, medications, procedures, it can create an imbalance in your life where pain dictates what you can do, what you can't do and what your future looks like. Having a plan can help you to live within the boundaries of your pain and allow you to move those boundaries further apart over time. Having a plan can help manage stress, worry, anxiety, but also can help you move back towards the you you remember. If you're anything like me, you spend an awful lot of time each day thinking about all the things that you need to do. The thoughts circle around, slowly becoming more and more jumbled until eventually they are overwhelming you, waking you, worrying you and just plain stressing you out, none of which is good for pain levels. The purpose of a plan is to unravel the mess, the worry, the anxiety, the stress. The purpose of a plan is to organise what you need to do what you want to do, and what really isn't that important. So how do we do this? Do a mental dump. Get everything out of your head so you can start to organise it. Your day may look something like this. Thinking about all the things you need to do may be enough to make you roll over, cover your head with a doona and not get out of bed. But this is only step one. We're now going to have a really hard look at this list. Is everything on here really that important? Is it urgent? Does it need to be done? If the answer is no, then you're going to dump it. Looking at our list, we can see that there are quite a few items we can dump. Yes, this involves letting your standards and expectations of yourself and your house slip, but the purpose of each day is to get you through it in one piece feeling okay, being able to get back up tomorrow and have another good day. The purpose of planning is to allow you to start to build in some consistency and predictability to tomorrow. Overdoing things today borrows happiness and energy from tomorrow. If we can clear enough out of our day by delegating, dumping and doing, then it may free up space for us to be able to reintroduce some of the things we really do want from our dump list. But to be honest, none of them are urgent or important, so they're going to get dumped. Looking at what's left behind, we still have quite an overwhelming list that potentially is too much for us to manage within our boundaries of pain. So now what? You're going to have to delegate. Are you the only person in the house or in your life that can do what is on this list? Asking for help and accepting help are really challenging for anyone, but if we were meant to get through this life on our own, no one else would be here with us. You need to weigh up the costs. What is the cost to your mood, your relationships and the rest of your week if you do everything on this list on your own? So work through the list. Could your partner or spouse help you with some of the items? Could the kids? Is there another parent you could share, drop off and pick up responsibilities with? Is there things on this list that really bring you joy and you don't want to delegate, like cooking dinner each night? By delegating other meal preparations or walking the dog or going to the supermarket, it then allows you to have the energy to do this each night. And then we're left with just a few things on our list. Here we find a manageable, achievable and actionable to-do list for today. The list has gone from an overwhelming mess to something we can achieve and manage. You'll notice that not everything on the list may seem important or urgent, but some are needed to help us to move towards our goals for the future, like stretching and the physiotherapy exercises. Finding time to do these will help move the boundaries wider and wider and allow you to achieve more in your day. Once you have your to-do list, it's time to make a plan for your day. When are you going to wake up? 
Could you combine your stretching and physiotherapy exercise together? Do you need to cushion your doctor's appointment with rest to allow you for commuting and sitting in the doctor's rooms? When does dinner need to be prepared to allow the kids to get to bed on time? When do you want to be in bed? Once you create that plan, you start to open windows to schedule time for other things. These can be self-care um, activities like meditation or connecting with loved ones, or it might be reintroducing items that you dumped that you wanted to do but thought you didn't have the time for, like reading a book. Planning has helped organise, prioritise and manage your day. It has also allowed you to find time to do the things you enjoy each day. Most importantly, it has prevented you from overdoing things and creating an unnecessary flare and pain. Remember, to make tomorrow 10% better than today, you need to keep notes and review how you felt. Was your pain okay? Did you do too much? Did you feel stressed out or like you could manage your to-do list calmly? Was there time to buffer unexpected emergencies that came up that you weren't expecting, like the kids being sick or the doctor running late or traffic being heavy on the way to and from the doctor's appointment. Remember, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over every day and expecting different re results. Keeping notes helps us to live, learn and adapt each day and make it 10% better. Finally, sort out tomorrow today. At the end of each day, create your plan for tomorrow. This gets it out of your head and hopefully prevents that 3am wake up of panic on how are you going to get through tomorrow. When you sort it, you create a space of calm and preparation which hopefully allows you to tackle tomorrow to the best of your abilities. You can find us at www.northernpaincentre.com.au You can also like, follow and subscribe to us on Facebook Instagram and YouTube. Thanks so much for listening.